Hey guys, so I'm back again. This is my third video for Respiratory Care Week. And I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. My hair's looking a little crazy. It's been a long day. I did my final for uh, emergency care. And so I'm done with that class now. I feel pretty good about it so far. I guess I'll see the grade maybe in a couple of days though, or when it gets posted later today online. That means I'll be starting Law and Ethics on Thursday. Yes, Thursday. So that'll go by pretty quick. I'm actually maybe like two and a half weeks out from the semester end and then I'll have a whole week off. And uh, after that week off, I'm gonna come back and do classes like uh, advanced cardiopulmonary diagnostics, I think. I can't remember if that's fourth semester or fifth semester. And then mechanical ventilation, which I'm really excited about and a little bit nervous just because I've heard lots of horror stories. But I also hear it comes easy to some and not so easy to others. So either way, I know I'm gonna be having to put in a lot of work. Other than that, um, the Law and Ethics course I think is going to be really interesting. I think I mentioned this in a previous class. My, uh, per my teacher that's actually going to be uh, in charge of that course, he is really excited about the course and it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I was kind of looking through some of the information in my book, which I know I showed this to you before, but again, it's Law and Ethics. And we're gonna start out with the first three chapters, which are, sorry, I'm looking at the, the book here. So it's Introduction to Law and Ethics, which everything has an intro, right? Making Ethical Decisions, and then Working in Healthcare. So I think it's gonna be really interesting because it's great that my professor has been in the healthcare industry for many, many years and has worked in many states and is aware of some of the differences uh, between legal issues state to state, so we'll get to hear a lot of perspectives, as well as getting to talk to my classmates about anything they may have run into on their clinicals or maybe just situations that they've heard about as well. So I think it's gonna create a lot of interesting discussion and I'm really excited for the class. Uh, the other class I'm in is Advanced Patient Assessment, which is actually really interesting. We're finishing up ECGs again, which apparently I needed a little more practice with, but that's okay because ECGs are very difficult to read while they're running and uh, you kind of get too used to an example in one book and then maybe not catch it quick enough when you're looking at another version of whatever that dysrhythmia is. So once we finish that up, we're actually going to go on to assessing the aging adult as well as laboratory values, going further into them, and then ending with x-rays. So things are kind of picking up and I haven't decided, I think, for my week off, yes, I know I'm not there yet, but I'm already looking forward to it. I probably will just be studying. <laughs> So nothing overly exciting. I'll probably just be studying, trying to catch up, doing some review of uh, pulmonary anatomy and physiology because of the mechanical ventilation course. I want to make sure I'm fresh on all of that. And then maybe just reviewing some other things like pharmacology and uh, normal lab values because those are all good things to review when you're getting ready to go out on clinical because this semester coming up I won't go directly to clinical and it is a little bit different than what some of you guys do. I'll have classes for a certain number of weeks and then they'll send me out to clinical for the end portion of the semester and I'll have that clinical three days a week and then one lab day a week. So it's a little bit different. Let me know how you guys do your clinicals down below. If you guys have taken law and ethics, let me know if there are any interesting situations you ran into or if there are uh, other classes that you preferred. I'd love to hear whatever you've got to tell me. All right, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying your respiratory care week and I will see you next time, but just make sure to tune in because I've tried to film a couple of other special videos for you guys that have been getting a lot of requests for and if I can get them edited because it's about 28,000 clips of video, I'll try to post it uh, this Thursday or Friday. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time.